Hi guys, hopefully you guys can see me. I don't know, the lighting is kind of bad in here. But <clears throat> what I'm going to show you guys is um, a couple things that I purchased. One is an unboxing of an actual Amazon order. I'm not really sure what's in there, but I think it's some stuff that I ordered for the Mug Press for Cricut. So I'm going to open that on this video and I'm also going to open up the box um, and show you guys what comes in if you don't know and um, we'll go from there. Thanks for joining. Hopefully you'll subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be doing more videos on some of the things that I do make and um, that can range from like different types of uh, artwork and um, nail decals, I make a whole bunch of different things, um, but with this one, um, I'm gonna try, I've never used the mug press to do any mugs, and I have, um, been wanting to do mugs for a long time, I do have a regular heat press, and, um, two sublimation printers, so that's what I'm gonna be using to design my mugs, um, I'm going to see how they turn out and, um, I will, if I don't show the process or the result of the mug on this video, it's just because I'm just doing the unboxing first because I dev I never tried it before. So I don't have any idea how it works as far as actually in printing the design or actually sublimating the design onto the mug. I just want to do this unboxing before I actually try one. And then when I do actually try one, because I haven't filled out, figured out what I want to use as an actual design yet. So um, I'm kind of working on it now um, on my PC, but um, I haven't really figured it out exactly out as far as what I want to try so far. So a million designs in my, uh, my head about what I want to try, and I haven't figured out which ones I want to try, and I don't want to waste any mugs all right so we will get right into it so what I did do is I ended up looking for one online and a, I wanted to I didn't want to get the prime, one from Amazon Prime because it didn't give like an exact date of when it would get here um so instead it was just free delivery but there was no guaranteed delivery date and I want to try it right away so I ended up going to Michael's website and I found one available close enough, like an hour or so away from where I live. And I'm going to take it out of the box. It's pretty heavy. Oh, the box itself is heavy. Here is the, the box. And it's the box. Oh, that's the box. That's the box. Has not been opened yet. Still sealed up. So I'm going to be taking this out. It is pretty heavy. I don't know if it's a machine or if it's just why is it so heavy. But when I looked at different like reviews and stuff like that, they said it was lightweight. Um, it doesn't feel really lightweight to me. But that's the press. And then I also got some mugs because I ordered some mugs on Amazon um that are supposed to be the mugs that you can use in this press um not Cricut the ones that I ordered on Amazon because the Cricut ones were available but it was the same situation there wasn't like a guaranteed delivery date it just said free shipping for prime members so I didn't want to take a chance so I decided to go to Michael's yesterday and get um some mugs so I can at least try and I was like, I don't want to try just like one or two mugs and then I'm going to want to probably keep doing more and um, if I like how they turn out. And so I decided to take a chance and go to Michael's and see if they have any um, mugs available. They did have some available. And then today I got a box from Amazon. Um, so I ordered just like I think six in the Amazon one because that was the only one that was available for 
next day delivery. So that box has got here today. I have not opened that. And this is the box that I received today. I haven't opened it at all yet. But that's the one that I received today. So hopefully it has... What I ordered was the mugs. I think... No, actually, I don't... I think I ordered, it has two mugs, I'm not sure, but I will do the unboxing. And then I was able to go to Michael's uh, when I went yesterday, and I did get some mugs. So what I did get is, I ended up getting, I found this. I didn't open these yet. I just wanted to, I, <clears throat> when I we were in the store yesterday, um, I wanted to see, just to open the boxes to see if they had anything, that if, if the the mugs inside are like intact and not broken or cracked or anything like that but we my fiance was opening one and they're packaged well the bigger i got that one that has two and these are um 12 ounce mugs and then i wanted to pick the bigger ones they're 15 ounces this one that has 15 ounce mugs in it has two as well. This has to go up here. And then I <clears throat> I also ended up finding this box. I I tried to when I was in the store, this is what I did. I took off the little stickers that keep the box shut. And this has six mugs in it. And these are fifteen ounce mugs. And, um, I wasn't able to, I'll try to show you what I'm about. So, let's see if I can open this without dropping it. Okay. okay, so I got it open. And this is how they are in the box. So that's how they are in the box. So each one... Take them out. Stick it over here. Alright, so I just took one out. And it has a box. And wrapped in bubble wrap so each one of the mugs in there are individually wrapped and this is a nice sized mug this is a 15 ounce one so it's got plastic wrap over it and then there's also the mug and it has crickets logo on the bottom with a name on the bottom so that's that and I'm not sure how the smaller ones are packaged because the boxes are way smaller than the ones for the. And then what I end up doing is I end up going to Michael's where I picked up my order because these came from a Michael's <clears throat> that's probably like maybe a half hour away from me. And then the, the actual press itself came. From, I drove like an hour to go pick this up and they ended up having more of the mugs but I, I had already said you know what that's enough because then I ordered a second another order on Amazon that one doesn't have a specific delivery date but I think there's like 12 mugs in that one so we'll see um, but yeah perfectly intact and then I'm just gonna sit this one down and I just wonder if these have any boxes including inside so I'm just gonna open this and this is the one that has the two 15 ounce the only reason why I want to open it is I want to see if um if it has boxes, like 
like we want to pack them or whatever. Okay. Really hard to open. Alright, so this is um two here and they are packaged very snugly. Yeah, so they're packaged the same way. There's a box. Was in the box. And then the mug is in the box. That's inside the box. So that's really good. Because their mugs are really safe. And not cracked or chipped or anything. Alright. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this Amazon order. Because I ordered, let's see if I can set this back a little bit. I ordered, um, some things aren't, weren't able to be delivered today. And it, I knew that ahead of time, but I still wanted to order them. I ordered some butcher paper, um, some printer paper, but I already have the correct kind of paper. So I'm not I have sublimation paper. Oh, the butcher paper did get here already. And this is butcher paper. It's really big. I might just do it. So. Oh, okay. So, what kind of puts up in here? This is a huge thing of butcher paper. I didn't expect it to be that big. So I just got some white butcher paper, and this is 17.25 inches by 175 feet. So I got that. That's really heavy. And I also got. what else I ordered on Amazon, but I think I know for sure I ordered some um, I ordered some more mugs, because this one only had, how many this have? I think this only had two yeah, pack of two so that's what I ordered, me by Blue Ribbon And it just says high quality ceramic on there. So in this mug, see these don't have any kind of like I think these are fifteen ounces. And here's what that looks like. I'm gonna compare that to the way. Well, actually, let me just grab a 15 ounce, 15 ounce cricket mug. Yeah, I'm going to compare that size to the 15 ounce cricket mug just to see if the sizes look comparable. Okay, so this one is the Amazon mug. Actually, it's 15 ounces. Yeah, this one, this cricket package says 15 ounces. And then this one from Amazon. I'm sure. Um, That's 15 ounces. I'm not sure you can really see that because it's really dark. But right there, it says 15 ounces. 
So I don't know. This is the these things are the same size. I'm gonna put them on top of the box. Let's see if I want something flat flatter. Yeah, no, the the one from Amazon definitely is way taller. This is the Amazon one. This one here. There's no imprint on the bottom, and this one is a crooked one, and that has the bottom, and it even specifies on the bottom that it's 15 ounces, so I don't know, that's kind of weird, but whatever, um, I'm gonna turn on the machine, well actually let's take the machine out, since that's what this is supposed to be about, this is the unboxing. This one only came with um, styrofoam in the top and the bottom. It doesn't have any like box or anything. I just put the mug in. Which, and this doesn't have any um, foam around it. Which is kind of weird. Not foam, but whatever that stuff is called. The bubble wrap. It doesn't have anything like that around it. Alright, so. I'm going to do the unboxing of the um, mug press now. Okay, so here's the mug press. I've not opened it. I tried to open it. Because by the time we got home last night, I was so exhausted. So I got... Let's see, let me just do... this if I can Hopefully I can get this thing open. This tape is so sticky. And I don't feel like... I don't use laser, like, the exacto knife. That's my fancy thing. And I always have them open my packages for me. I just take them and open them. So this is the first thing. Alright. <clears throat> I see it's on the top. It says open me. And then. Why is this? Oh, that's the wrap on it. I was like, what? Inside is the mug press. Let's take this out. So I have the mug press, and then there's something at the bottom, it looks like there is anyway. Let's see what that is. Oh, duh. Got a power cord, and a USB cord, and this little informational thing. So that's those, and this has like black black all over it. Let's see what, and mine was, 
this one I think it was one ninety nine ninety nine like regular price, but then and on Amazon it was like one eighty nine ninety nine, but I didn't feel like waiting for the shipping, even though the shipping is free. If you're a Prime member. Alright, so in this is this. Let's get started. Activate your product. Cricut.com setup. One year limited warranty. Alright, that's that. And then this is just telling you. Let me see what it says in here. I like to just go, just get it done. I don't all kind of directions. I can't stand that. But this just says, it tells you the progress lights, which are these right here that should be lighting up. Um, the power button. Okay, that's the power button. Standby is if it's like, I don't know. Warming up, ready to use. Okay, so it indicates on here that ready to use means, or the green button means it's ready to use. It tells you to push down the lever to start a transfer. And then lit when complete. So maybe this thing lights up when it's complete. The heating element is here. Obviously, that's where you put your mug to heat up and it says caution gets very hot during use and then it tells you when complete lift the lever carefully lift the lever and carefully remove the mug by the handle the mug's handle place mug on a heat resistant surface like a Cricut easy press mat or a trivet until completely cool avoid using hot product avoiding using product on heat sensitive surfaces immediately following Transfer mugs will be very hot. And then before you make, learn more. It just gives you this little thing. So here's the instructions inside. Which depict all of the, you know, the buttons and what they do and all that stuff. It's not really too intense. It seems pretty straightforward and simple. So we're going to try it. What is this? This is just some safety. Machine operates at high temperatures. Machine mug chamber is hot during use. Do not touch for indoor use only. Machine operates at high temperatures that can cause burns or other injury. Machine mug chamber is hot during use. Use with extreme caution. It says to use it in a well ventilated area. Vapors from heating process may be irritating and sensitive to individuals in case of skin irritation. Okay, I told you what to do. Always turn off, turn the machine off before plugging or unplugging from the electrical outlet. So turn it off before you unplug. Okay, duh. Never pull on the cord to disconnect the machine. Okay, it's got grass. Okay, okay so it's just basically. Normal, do not immerse in water, obviously. Okay. So, do not leave machine unattended when it is switched on. And always, <sighs> always unplug machine and allow it to cool before handling or storing. And do not apply heat to mug longer than recommended. And then we have the FCC. So that's all that came in that part with the little thing that says open me. So I am going to try this. I just need to make a design first. And I haven't decided what design I'm going to make yet. So I don't really know. Um, but when I do do one, I want to kind of do one on camera. So I, what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to just um, do one 
and then, or I'll actually get my design ready and then I'll come back on to show you. Okay, guys, I'm back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is my very, very, very first um, try. And I'm just going to be doing this. And this is for my um, fiance's um, business. And I'm going to be pressing on this Cricut 15 ounce mug. So I have the print, the mug, which I'm going to um, clean off with a uh, lint roller. And then I have some spray adhesive and some butcher paper so i haven't opened it yet because as i showed you guys earlier i just got it in the mail. i've never used butcher paper in my life of all the things that i've sublimated so hopefully this is huge i should have got one that has like a little container thing but i just took the paper off let me just see for the uh, plastics let me see if i could just peel this off and then once I do that actually no well forget it now because I started it's not really peeling off all right um, I'm gonna get this peeled off and then I'm gonna plug in the press but I'm gonna do that while I have the video going okay so now I oh god I'm so freaking tired from standing for five seconds <laughs> so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to just trim some of this off and remember this is my very first time doing this so please don't judge me right now i did my design in silhouette and um i printed it out obviously on my own printer and I'm just going to go ahead and trim off this little piece that has a sticker on it. Okay. Also pretty clean. So I'm just going to take, like, I'm just actually going to put this on here. You know, so you guys can see what I'm doing. I haven't plugged in the press yet. The mock press. I'm just going to take this and just pretty much um, cut off the approximate size of this <clears throat> as close as I can. I probably can't see that part, but that's what I'm doing. I'm just turning around here. Make sure you guys can see. I'm going to do two because I that two is better than one. Um, I'd have to do three. It's better than two. But, um, should I keep Maybe I'll just cut one and just stay on the safe side. I'm going to say that I've never done this before, and I want to make sure that I'm following the steps of the plan that I have to do. It's not going to be um, <clears throat> able to give me the best results. Alright, so I'm just going to set this bunch of paper aside. Just make sure these sheets are sized enough. So did I trim the edge of this off? So I'm just gonna do the same. So here's my little protective sheets. I have my image 
and then my little protective sheets. <clears throat> And why the boss? He's always freaking calling. Shit. I can't even answer it right now. But anyway, so I'm gonna get some um like sticky lint paint. Sheets. I definitely need to demolish this, but I have a whole new one. So this is a roll, the thing I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna put it across my mom. Okay, cute. User error, and I don't edit my videos, so this is what it is. Hopefully. Okay. Alright, so that's all I need. Lint roll I'm gonna use. Actually, I need this one. <laughs> this is crazy, but sticky side is still intact. So I'm just going to get that out. So here it is. I'm place on a clean surface. My desk is definitely not very clean right now. And I'm just going to spray some of the adhesive on it. That I use when I do sublimating. And... Sorry about that. I like to use tweezers to hold on when I spray this adhesive on. Let me just make sure because this nozzle is not. I haven't used this in so long. Let me it's clear. Alright, so I'm just going to spray this. Not too much. And then I have my adhesive tape, my heat tape, ready to go. So I'm going to be using that, and I'm just going to trim this out. I don't have a thick, I don't think I do. I might have a thick one, I don't realize it, but I have not used this in a long time. So I'm just going to use that as a reinforcement. I'm going to use that as a reinforcement. Okay, yeah, cool. You got that. Alright, so. Now, here's the press, the mug press. I have not taken the press or anything off it, so I use it in any kind of way. I have no idea from a personal perspective what to expect. So hopefully. This will. Um, so here's the art press, mug press. It's kind of poured, so I'm gonna 